Hi guys, it's Carissa, and today I'm going to talk about the TheFragranceShop.com. It is a website where I made a purchase recently after hearing about it from my friend Amanda. Her channel is Milo Jim and Me, and I will link that below. She mentioned that a friend of hers told her about a website that creates perfume oils from well-known fragrances. And this is so appealing to me because I am the type of person who always really loved perfume. I considered it such a nice luxury, something that I really put a lot of thought into. You know, I put a certain perfume on based on my mood or the weather or just how I was feeling. And um, I always liked to be complimented on how I smelled. And I, I know that fragrance is, you know, scent is tied to the olfactory senses, which is linked to your memory. So fragrance is the first way to, you know, basically be able to remember something that is really positive or um, a good time in your life and I just liked the idea of having a really positive connection you know from the memory of the way I smell um, and you know growing up my mother always had really nice perfumes and she would wear them and get compliments on how she smelled and it was something that I always really enjoyed the problem is is in the last like three to five years I have not been able to indulge in this because I have become so sensitive to fragrances I don't know if it's the alcohol or the fillers that are in perfume, um, just the overall chemical makeup of it is something that I just can't uh, stand to wear any longer. It makes me feel congested, it makes me sneeze, um, it makes me feel like I can't breathe very well, and that's not a good thing. One thing that has worked for me is fragrance oil. I did switch to that uh, about a year ago, and I feel like it lasts a lot longer than perfume, so even for less money I'm getting uh, really rich fragrance, but I do. I have like a whole tray behind me of perfumes that I used to be able to enjoy and now they're basically just decorations in my room because even if I just try to spray one little mist on my clothing and not even on my skin, it definitely affects me. So I'm really excited to put this website to the test. I purchased a sample pack, which is five uh, trial sizes, just like the little vials of perfume like you would get at a beauty counter if you were going to sample one at home. And it also gives you a $30 voucher for your next purchase. So you can, I guess I've heard that you can use that on another sample pack if you like. But I happened to um, make the purchase while they were having a sale. And that was kind of what pushed me over the edge to give it a try. So I ended up getting a $9 discount on mine and the shipping's only $4. So I was really excited to give that a try. I received my package today and it just came in this white bubble mailer like this. And what I did was I picked fragrances that I already know and love that were favorites of mine that I kind of miss being able to wear. And I even was, I was so excited. I found my all time favorite fragrance which has been discontinued for a few years now. What I'll encourage you to do if you go to this website is don't go to the search bar to type in the fragrance. For some reason, it doesn't work well that way. There is a drop down bar where you can just kind of scroll through. It takes a little longer, but just go through and you can find the fragrance you're looking for. So first, what I see here is I got an invoice and <laughs> yes, like a return policy customer service note, which also had a it looks like a cherry lifesaver taped to it. That's really cute. And a little card here that says, thank you for your order. And it instructs you on how to apply the oil. And I got a little sample here. It says to use the oil, unscrew the cap, and turn it over and touch it to your wrist. Um, and then rub your wrists together on your pulse point, like your neck and your wrists. I think that's pretty standard. The sample that they gave me based on the selections I made, you know, what they think that I'd like, is the Ali Saab, which I've never smelled before. Let me uh, give that a try. Oh, I'm scared. Okay, the lid actually pops out really easily, so that's nice. Okay, that's gorgeous. That smells really good. They have their own logo on their tissue paper. And then there is also a plastic bag. And then my vials are wrapped in more tissue paper on the inside. So they're very well packed. 
seem like they arrived safely. If they're inside another little tiny Ziploc bag or something, I'm going to freak out. No, okay. I just want to paper. Ooh, I can smell them. So here are my vials. They're actually larger than the sample vial that I received. Just to give you an idea, I did receive more product in the ones that I paid for. Now I will share with you the actual scents that I have that I'm going to compare to the ones that I purchased. Some of these I have much less product in than others. This is the Christian Dior Jador. Now I will share with you the fragrances that I selected and I'm going to compare them to the real thing here. I have the Christian Dior Jador, Philosophy's Amazing Grace, Vera Wang Princess, so I'm dropping stuff. Vera Wang Princess, Calvin Klein Obsession, and my all time favorite discontinued Victoria's Secret from the Angels Collection, Divine. I am first going to smell J'adore. Not 100% on that one, I don't know. It's very, very, very close. The next one I'm going to try is Amazing Grace. It's exactly like it. It's exact. I don't even have to, to compare it. It's perfect. Next is Vera Wang Princess. I haven't worn this in a long time. This is one my mother purchased for me at Christmas years ago, and um, for some reason, Mike really loves that one. There's something about that one that he compliments every time I wear it. So let's see how the oil does. It doesn't smell like it to me. Um... I'm picking, I'm picking up the scent a little bit, but it also has, there's like a little extra something to it that's not quite right. That's what happened with the Jador. Calvin Klein Obsession. My mother and my father's mother used to wear this when I was a little kid. This is one of those scents that makes me think of good things and makes me feel happy. It's also an incredibly rich and just sexy and, uh, just beautiful fragrance there's just so much to it um, that I really love it but it's something that I think people could think is kind of like an old lady smell especially if you wear too much of it I've definitely had people tell me that they don't like it on me um, as well as get compliments I feel like it's kind of 50 50 that's that smells just like it that smells really good and it's even the same color they even um, I don't know if they added some kind of color in or if one of the scents that's a part of it makes it this color, but they've even made it like this dark brown color, so it's kind of neat. Okay, guys, I'm really nervous. I'm exactly half and half on these right now, and this is the one that counts the most because this is all I've got left of the one that I have, and I'm sure I can get it on eBay or something, but it would be really expensive, and it might smell expired, so... Now this one I'm going to just apply directly to my skin. That's not it. This smells like... Nope, guys, it's a fail on the Divine. What a bummer. If you're not familiar with it, it is very musky, and it has like a almost like a baby powderish type of finish scent to it. It's just, it's unlike anything else I've ever smelled, and this, this just is not it. This smells like, this smells like, truthfully, and I'm not trying to be mean, it smells like a Glade air freshener, like one of those aerosol air fresheners that you can get at the store. It just, it's not, it's not it. What a bummer. So, two of them are great. One of them is really bad, which is the most important one. And the other two are just so-so. I don't really know what the policy is. 
Well, the good news is if I really want to make a stink, haha, -ha, get that, get it, stink. I think they sound like they are incredibly concerned about customer satisfaction. I mean, they have italics going on and all, all of this, and they really, really want to know if you have a problem and there's a chance maybe that they would Oh, it says the K family. It's a family. So I don't know if I'm going to... Oh, I really, really, really hate the way that one smells. Anyway. Anyway, it was worth a try. Um, I am really pleased with the two that I have here. The Amazing Grace and the... Calvin Klein Obsession and the other ones aren't exact but you know they're close enough and I do like them so it's really just this one can I tell you a story real quick so <laughs> I just told this story a couple of days ago and it just tickles me so I used to work for Bath and Body Works years ago and they had just launched a new fragrance that was very musky and rich and deep and it was not in any way like a light clean scent but people would come in constantly and try it on and say that it smelled clean that was the first thing that they would say they'd spray it and they'd say oh that smells so clean and it was just a weird it, that would almost be like saying that this smells clean that's one of the last words I'd use to describe it and so it would just constantly surprise us. And while working there, you know, most of us started to almost wait in, in anticipation of what people would say when they tried it on. Well, it was before the launch and we had a tester of just the little purse sizes of lotion and body splash at the register. And right next to it, we also had a little tiny, you know, like salt shaker filled with coffee beans. and. You use coffee beans to kind of reset your um, reset your palate, you know, to zero, because you smell so many things after a while and feel overwhelmed. And smelling the coffee beans makes it so that you can really get a, a true scent out of something after the fact. So we had that up there next to it, and a woman came in and she was being really boisterous and really enjoyed the fragrance and was spraying it and rubbing the lotion on her hands and just kept going, oh. The smell so clean. Well, that was funny enough in itself, but then she very casually picked up the salt shaker of coffee beans and was like, oh, is this the beans for it? And put it down. What does that even mean? What does that even mean? Have you, is that, she said it like it was, like it was normal. I will put the links below if you are intrigued and do want to give this a try. Um... They also have, you can get this size, I believe, by itself for just $6 on the website. So if there's just only one you want to try, you can do that for just $6. So that is it. This has definitely been fun. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. My hair color kind of match in with my eyebrows. And I know that probably sounds crazy. You're like, Carissa, this is not the Hunger Games. You shouldn't have blue eyebrows.